This is Mahmoud Hassan Mehraz. Welcome to another solution tutorial of Soidos. Today we are going to solve 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view and all the dimensions are given in the isometric view. First of all, I will start drawing from the front plane. In the front plane, I will draw this rectangular shape. For drawing this rectangular shape, we can see uh, this horizontal dimension has a 92 unit. Then we have a vertical dimension. And this vertical dimension has a dimension of 87 unit then i have a horizontal dimension of 53 unit after that we can see this has a thickness of 12 unit so then i will offset it to 12 unit and close the shape after that i will extrude it to 74 unit but in in our this upper portion of the face we can see another an arc shape and this arc shape has a radius of 90 units. So after that, I will draw this arc and uh, cut this extra portion and also cut this extra portion. So let's start. So I am selecting the front plane. Now sketch. Now select the line tool and place the line tool here. And now dimension it to around this 92 unit. Then we have a vertical line. And this vertical line has a dimension of 87 unit then we have a another horizontal line and this horizontal line has a dimension of 53 unit so after that uh, i will select the offset entities and select this line and the dim parameter dimension will be 12 unit reverse the direction now cap int now line now press ok now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features and now extrude boss now extrude boss it to 74 unit and this extrude boss will be from the mid plane now press ok so in our space we can see the fillets and this fillets has a radius of 10 unit and we are not seeing other fillets so we are assuming all the fillets are 10 unit okay so i am selecting the fillet option from here and the dimension is 10 unit now rotate select this inner portion and also select this inner portion now select this outer two portion in our sketch so we have selected now press ok now submit it for a better view now select this upper face now sketch now normal tweet now zoom out now select the circle and over this circle from the center line and draw a circle of circle of 90 radius okay drawing a circle of 90 radius so it will be 90 multiplied by 2 okay after that select a, press ok select the mid select this line okay and convert into this and select the midpoint of this line okay selecting the midpoint of this line and select this circle now make coincident now press ok after that select this line and this line control click this line this two line and also convert into this that two line now select the trim option and trim all the unnecessary part that we don't need now press ok now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features and now is to cut now is to cut zoom here and select this portion and this portion we will cut this two portion okay now press ok so we have gotten our shape now it's time for doing this circular profile okay this link in this cylindrical shape we can see this circular profile has a dimension of 35 diameter and it has a extrude box of 65 unit and here we have a radius and as the radius dimension is not given we are assuming the uh, fillet, fillet radius has 10 unit then we can see in this portion we have chamfer of 345 unit and in the okay so let's draw that so i am selecting this face and now sketch now normal to it now select the circle and place the circle in the mid midpoint so you, if you hover your mouse like this way you can see we are, this is the midpoint and click here and draw a circle of 35 diameter now i submit it for a better view 
now go to features and now store boss now store boss it to 65 unit now press ok so after that select the fillet option and fillet it to 10 radius and selecting fillet and flatten this to 10 radius ok now select the chamfer option from here and now chamfer it to 345 degree ok now select this line now press ok now it's time for doing all the extrude cut in our case we can see uh, first of all we have uh, we have extrude cut circle here and this extrude cut circle has a dimension of 15 unit and it has a distance of this uh, 37 unit and this another distance of 21 unit and we can see we have another extrude cut circle and this extrude cut circle also have a 15 diameter extrude cut and it distance is 37 unit and it uh, another distance is 15 unit and we have the our last one is cut circle here and this is to cut circle has a dimension of 7.5 unit okay let's do all the to cut circle so first of all i'm selecting this face now sketch now normal to it after that uh, select the circle and place the circle here and now dimension it to 15 unit and select this circle and select this midpoint and the distance will be 21 unit after that uh, you can select this circle and from this circle to this distance it is 37 unit because we have taken from mid, mid end so it is automatically 37 unit okay now press ok now I submit to it for a better view now go to features and now is to cut so now is to cut it to 12 unit okay now select this face now right click on it now sketch now normal to it after that select a circle and draw a circle in here and this circle has a dimension of 15 unit also and now select this my dimension option now select this circle and this line the distance is 15 unit from here and also again select this circle and this line and the dimension is 37 unit because we have taken it from the midline now press ok now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features and now is to cut now press ok now select this face now sketch now normal to it now select a circle and draw a circle in here center point and this circle has a dimension of 7.5 diameter now i submit ticket for a better view now good feature now say extrude cut now extend this line now press ok so as you can see we have drawn our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different